Hi, I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today we want to talk to you a little bit about troubleshooting a water heater, and I'll also explain how to change the temperature of it, so if you wanted it hotter or colder, uh, you can do that as well. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn the power off to the unit by going to the breaker box and turning off your water heater. Uh, that'll just make things safer. So the controls are underneath the panels. Uh, this is an electric with uh, two panels. There's a thermostat. If there's two elements in your unit, there'll be a main thermostat and then a secondary one. So you just remove both panels. If you have a smaller hot water heater, you may just have one element in it. So the process will be the same. You just won't have the secondary thermostat to adjust. This is the secondary thermostat on the bottom. The main one is on the top. Now, when you're looking at your thermostat, there's a couple parts of it here. The main power comes in from the top. There's a reset button and a way to adjust the temperature here. The, if your hot water heater isn't working, one of the first things you're gonna wanna check is this reset button and try to push it. This one's already pushed in because this water heater was working, but it will pop out uh, if the thermostat has tripped off for some reason. So if you push that, it'll allow your water heater to come back on. This is where your element is here. And there's also another one at the bottom and I can show you here in a second. So for, for this one, uh, for adjusting the temperature, that's this little gauge here. We were gonna adjust this one up a little bit we had a resident ask us to turn up their hot water heater. So I'm gonna turn it up to about there and we're gonna adjust the bottom thermostat the same way. You wanna be sure and adjust both of them because if you only adjust one, you'll only be using one element in there. So there's another element down here and there's a way to adjust this thermostat right here. Try to set it about the same. And then we can turn our power back on and it should start heating back up. Now I wanted to talk to you about testing your elements. So if your hot water heater isn't working and you think that you may have a problem with it, first, you want to check, check that reset button. Secondly, you want to test the elements. So you want to turn the power back off again because there's live wires in here. It can be dangerous. To test an element, you'll need to have a multimeter. Uh, they usually look like this with two leads coming off of them. To test an element, you're going to be checking the ohms, which is the amount of resistance, which is the upside down horseshoe right here. And you should get somewhere around 9 to 15 ohms of resistance on an element. So I'm gonna try to hold it where you can see it. You'll touch the screws here on the back of the element. Doesn't matter which one is which. Again, the power's off and your meter will start to register. This one's at about 12.2. That's perfect. So that element should be working fine. You do the same thing on the one on the bottom. Twelve point six. That's perfect. So our elements should be working just fine. Uh, one thing that you can also test if you feel like that it's not working properly. This one's a little more dangerous, so you got to be careful. With the power on, and I've turned the temperature up on it, so the water heater should kick on, and then you can test your elements on whether they're actually getting power to them by adjusting your multimeter to the volt with a little wavy line that's the alternating current and then you can see if it's getting power to it so this one is 
it's getting power right now so this one is getting getting hot right now uh, they do both not work at the same time because they're on different out on different uh, thermostats so uh, it may take a minute to wait for the other side to kick on to test them but if you touch the screws while it's on then it'll it'll show you the amount of volts that's getting to the element so that's how you test the element that's how you test whether the thermostat is getting to the element and that's how you reset a water heater thermostat is with the red button now the first thing we do when one isn't working is check the reset if the reset has popped out you push it back in maybe it was a fluke maybe it got a power surge or something caused it to, to pop out so leave it at that and if it trips off again in a day or two then it's probably a problem with the thermostat and it'll need to be replaced so uh, we'll, we'll put up a video on how to replace the thermostat but for now this was just a little bit of troubleshooting uh, you can turn the power back off and put the panels back on and you should have uh, been able to kind of determine what your problem is that you're having here.